It's time for Ask Your Meteorologist with our very own Jacob Dickey. All right, I know this smoke has been top of mind for a couple days now. Yeah, it has been. But things are looking like... There's been some improvement, which is nice here, because yesterday, this was what it looked like out the window. I've recorded this. You remember how hazy it was yesterday yes. out there? Yesterday had the worst air quality we had in the region. We didn't get a lot of questions. What's going on yeah. out there? I mean, even you've been coming I know. I, I just walked in here. I'm like, can this give you a headache? Because I yeah. feel like I've had an ongoing headache for a couple days now. This yeah, has got to cause right. some problems. So this is some of the drone footage that shows some of the uh, smoke and haze overhead. This was taken the Sky 3 drone on Tuesday. And... Uh, in that, you can see how hazy it was. It got worse overnight Tuesday into Wednesday morning. We then had a little bit of rain come through Wednesday, which helped to almost push it to the surface for a little bit, but then it's been mixing out last night and into today, and things are certainly moving in the better direction for the air quality. But uh, air quality is probably going to be an issue here through the summer. Maybe not so much from the smoke, although the fire is still ongoing up there, but the questions have been coming in fast and furious about why do we have all of the smoke in place? So that certainly is something that we have been answering as much as possible. So I'm going to bring out some fun here. So get I ready. Hopefully feel like you're, I'm going to be spoiled. Yeah, you know, we're, going to, we're going to try and make you disappear <laughs> just love. like the buildings have disappeared. Just like yeah. you know, the, the vision, the view. I mean, it's been, there we go, here we go. Let's throw some magic on here and make it happen. So there goes Grace, and uh, she's hiding now. And uh, you can see, okay, step over here, Grace. We okay. Bring her over. You know, when you're walking out, this is what it looked like yesterday, didn't it? Yes. With that air quality. The air quality index, you can see the scale behind me here. How do I? Uh, you can see how we were down to the very unhealthy. The actually briefly yesterday, Decatur hit hazardous wow. air quality, which is the next step on our scale. We didn't think we'd get that far, and so it doesn't get built into our scale. It just tells you how rare and extreme that was. So that certainly was an issue for us here with that. So with this in mind, yep. should this change people's plans, activities? If you're thinking of going golfing today, should this Yeah, influence? so once you get to the orange level, you start to think of folks who are sensitive with respiratory issues, things of that. Uh, when you get to the red and the purple and, and then even below that, that's when the air quality becomes bad for um, most everyone. We're all affected. You've got a headache. Yeah. I had sore throat, scratchy throat the other day, and so that's been an issue. Okay, watch this. First off, air quality index. Let's go ahead and bring this graphic full. This was the, uh, the this time yesterday afternoon, we were at that, had that un, very unhealthy level. We will have more updates on what that looks like here coming up on the news in the next hour and where that sits now. Of course, we've seen those improvements there. But the, the yesterday, I mean, we were looking at air quality levels across the area. It has been some of the most hazardous air quality in the world right here in Illinois wow. and across the Great Lakes region. So uh, when we talk about those wildfires, let's uh, go ahead here. There we go. See this, this is my forest right here, this, the lovely <laughs> trees. We love nature, but the smoke yeah. has been the issue for us. Uh, there it goes. It disappeared. I'm going to bring it back. Here we go. So we got those fires. First off, uh, Grace, if you notice here on the map behind, this is Canada, Ontario, and in uh, Quebec have had lots of fires. Canada's been fighting almost 500 fires, half wow. of them out of control, 20 million acres of land burned. So right over here, you might want to step back. You see the fire, they just grow out of control, and the smoke gets thicker and thicker as it comes on through, and that smoke has been put into the atmosphere. Normally, the atmosphere flows from west to east, so it should carry it out, but we found ourselves in a bit of a pattern here, and now we can go ahead and zoom our camera in if you want to. I'm done with the reality, because I want to show you here. Those fires are to the north of us. Low pressure pressure has found itself over the Great Lakes region. We've had high pressure to the south and west. That smoke has been pulled around and brought overhead. And then when it's squeezed in here, it's also pushed down towards the surface. And that change in wind direction also made it a little worse. The rain falling helped to compress it a little bit to the ground. So that's been one of those big issues for us. And again, when it looked really terrible here at the surface, uh, that air quality has not been pleasant here in the region. You can see that smoke being forced down, which is what we had to deal with here across the region. Good news here, the smoke forecast. Grace, do you see much there? Not a whole lot. No, that's, that's the good thing. We were having those browns and oranges in this graphic. Yeah. So we're finished with the smoke for now. There's fires, though. They're out of control. A lot of folks are saying, well, can't they get them under control? They've got international help up in Canada. They've got New Zealand, Australia, United States has some firefighters there. But there's so many of them, and they're burning so much out of control mm -hmm. where there's just you know only so many things you can do. Uh, and so if we get that pattern set up, it's not out of the question that maybe more smoke filters our way. But, of course, we've liked the rain yes. and the storms. Not with the severe weather at all. Not yeah. at all with that. But the rain and the rainy pattern in the next several days is good news for us. That, especially with the drought 
that we've talked about okay. in recent weeks. We'll talk more about the drought next week and okay, let's do that. see how the improvements have been. So we can expect that maybe we're going to see some smoke kind of throughout the summer. Yeah, I, I think on and on that chance will be okay. there. Will it be as thick as it's been? Hard to forecast that, but I don't think we're out of the woods with at least that haze in the sky. Uh, but the good news here is heading for the next several days, the long 4th of July week, and things looking good. less smoky. And with the rain, maybe uh, some of those fireworks are going to actually yes. get off in time. I know there have been some days. areas that have been wondering about that. Yeah. All right. Well, Jacob, we always appreciate you. If you have a question for Jacob, we'll connect with all the ways that you can connect with him. And of course, we always love hanging out with him. Thanks so much.